Hey guys, today's video is going to be a quick review on a new release from Sephora. I had no idea this was coming out, but when I saw it in the just arrived section of Sephora, I knew I had to get my hands on it. This is the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. Everything about that title just made me want to get it. The coconut, the highlighter, the dew drops, it just sounds so perfect. So I ordered this on Sunday and it just arrived today and it is Tuesday. I got this during the pre-release of the product so I'm not too sure if it's available at the moment but it will be available in a few days. So I wanted to get a review up before it goes on sale so that you guys can decide if you want to purchase it or not. I used it for the first time this morning and it just has a pump on the top of it which makes it really easy to dispense the product. At first I wasn't too sure if it would be if it would pump too much on my hand right at once, but you can control the amount that you're getting out with how much pressure you're putting on the pump, which is amazing because with a product as expensive as this, you don't want to be wasting a whole lot of the product. What I did today is I put a drop of this mixed in with my foundation and I applied it all over my face just to add a little bit of a subtle glow. At first I wasn't too sure if mixing it in with my foundation would be okay because I know that some of those new highlighter drops uh, from Cover FX are just too metallic-y for me. I tried mixing those in with my foundation and I just looked like the Tin Man. But this gives a really nice subtle glow and it's not too much and it doesn't look like you have a highlighter mixed in. And that's what I wanted. Also what I did was I applied this on top of my foundation with a beauty blender. I dabbed it on the tops of my cheekbones and as you can see it's just a really beautiful natural and subtle highlight. It's not too much, it doesn't have any shimmer in it or anything like that. It's just a really natural looking glow. Now that I have this product I'm super excited because this product is extremely versatile. You can use it for many different things. I'm already thinking about more ways that I can use this. I'm sure I can use it like as a little lip topper or maybe even like an eyeshadow or something and definitely as like a body highlight glow because it's not too intense. Sometimes with powders it looks too fake of a glow but with a liquid like this it will just melt into the skin and look really natural. I also want to mention that the smell of this is coconuts and it smells so good. Sometimes I can be sensitive to really strong smells, but this one is just a beautiful light coconut scent. The scent of this reminds me of my Hangover RX primer from Too Faced. It's not too overpowering of a scent. What I want to do is show you the, a pump of it on the back of my hand so you can tell the color of this and if it's going to match your skin tone. Um, I wasn't too sure because sometimes with one shade highlighters like this, they can appear too dark or deep for my skin tone, um, but this one seems to work for my skin tone very well. I think that it could also be good for skin tones a little lighter than mine, and definitely a lot of skin tones darker than mine as well. It's more of a shimmer, it doesn't have a ton of color to it, so you can basically add it to any other liquid that you have to deepen it up or to lighten it up, especially with your foundation, it's very easy to do that. So I'm going to show you a close-up of a pump on my hand. Okay, so as you can see, it's definitely a gel texture. It's not runny or anything like that. Um, also, I want to show you that I can control the pump and not put too much on. I just wanted to show you that you can that you don't have to waste any of your product, you can apply a tiniest little bit like that or a full pump like that. So I'm going to rub this into my skin. As you can see, it's a beautiful glow. It doesn't have a lot of color to it, it just has a nice sheen when you move your hand. Obviously it's not that intense when you apply it mixed in with your foundation, but if you wanted to tap it on the cheekbones, it just applies really beautiful on the tops of your cheekbones as well if you want more of an intense highlight. I definitely recommend this product for anyone who has texture on their face. This product won't emphasize the texture. It will just sink into your skin while giving you a nice glow as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of really intense metallic highlighters because I find that they are just, they can be too much sometimes. So I'm really glad I found this highlighter that is just so gorgeous. I highly recommend this. Um, I wish I didn't pump so much onto my hand because I just wasted all that product. But I wanted to show you how beautiful this product is. 
It is really expensive, but if you're in the market for a liquid highlighter, I highly recommend it. Some of you might be thinking that this seems very similar to the Becca liquid highlighters. I do have one that, and I will compare it for you. I know right off the bat that I love the Marc Jacobs packaging a lot more because I can control the pump. I know that I've tried the pump on the Becca ones in Sephora and it just applied too much right away and you can't really go back, you can't really put it back in the tube because it's unsanitary. Um, so definitely the packaging on this one, the pump is a lot better. I do have this one which is kind of like a sample size just to so show you the color and the um, sheen of this one compared. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. This is the smaller size of the product. So as you can see, it has a similar texture. It's not dripping at all, and I'm just going to rub this in. Both of them are very soft and have a gel-like texture. As you can see, this is what Moonstone looks like, and beside it, this is what the Marc Jacobs looks like. I personally think this one is shining a little bit more. It has more glow to it, for sure. Yeah, this one's definitely giving off more of a sheen. Where's this one? It still is, like as you can see, it's still glowing a lot. It's just not the same intensity as this one. My final verdict on the two is that I like the Marc Jacobs one a lot better. If you're on a budget, I highly recommend getting this one because not only is it a lot cheaper and it kind of gives you a little bit of a smaller size to test out the product before actually purchasing one of the more expensive products. If you're looking for more of an intense highlight, I definitely recommend this one. It's beautiful mix into your foundation. It's beautiful as a highlight. I'm definitely going to be trying it a whole bunch of other ways. I hope you guys enjoyed this review on the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops Highlighter. I wanted to get this video out before it releases so that you guys can decide if you want to purchase it or not. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate your support. Please subscribe for more reviews and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Get your hands on this. You need it.